Hello everybody and welcome to deepgradrisk.com. In this video, we're going to show you how you can fit your own simple neural network using Python. First, we prepare our data. So we import the DCR function, DCR class, and um, we specify some graphics options in order to make our graphic output a bit nicer, which we may need later on. As usual, we start with importing our required packages. Here we need NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, and Scikit-Learn, and they are all included in our dcr.py module, which you can download from deepcreatrisk.com. Next, we read our data and do the train test split. We focus on periods 1 to 40, and we do the train test split not along the cross section, but rather along the timeline. So we use periods 1 to 26 before the crisis as training data and periods from 27 to 40 as the test data. So we want to see whether we can predict crisis. Let's have a look at the shape of the data. So in a train data set, we have 12,702 observations and 11 features. You can get the exact features from our book or from um, the dcr.py module or from the web page deepcreatrisk.com. And in the test data array, we have 27,368 observations, also 11 features, and a default rate in the train data of 1% and in the test data of 3.5%. Now let's fit our first simple neural network. We first specify a NumPy random seed um, because the weights are initialized randomly and in order to replicate the results we fix that seed to an arbitrary number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then we define our object model underscore double n and this is the MLP classifier from scikit-learn multi-layer perceptron classifier um, with a number of options. The most important option here is the hidden layer sizes, and it works as follows. If there is no number in there, if it's blank, then we don't have any hidden layer at all. If there is one number, like three, this says we have one hidden layer with a size of three, so with three derived features, and if we have two numbers here, we have two hidden layers with three and 10 derived features. And you can extend this arbitrarily as you like to as many, almost as many numbers of hidden layers and sizes as you like. Here, for example, we focus just on one hidden layer with a size of three. Then you have some more options, number of iterations, the activation function between the features and the derived features and between all derived features, um, the solver and some learning rate um, and stopping criterion options. Finally, we fit the model to the train data. As we fit the model, we see the iteration history. We start with the loss of 0.133. The loss is typically the binary cross entropy. And then you see during the iteration process, the loss decreases. And after 109 iterations, uh, the training loss did no longer improve. The learning rate is too small and the algorithm stops. Let's compute the number of parameters of weights that we fitted here in the simple neural network. So we had 11 features and one hidden layer with three derived features. That is 11 times 3, 33 weights, plus 3 bias terms, constants. And in the connection between the hidden layer and the output layer, we had 3 times 1, plus 1, that is 4. Altogether, we have 33, plus 3, plus 3, plus 1. In total, 40 parameters, weights, and biases in this simple neural network. Now, finally, let's check the prediction performance of that simple neural network. How good are the predictions for the crisis period? 
We compute our predictions for the test data using predict underscore probar and apply it to x test. And then we use our validation function, um, which is included in the dcr.py module. And we apply it to predictions test and the observed defaults. Let's have a look. You now see a beautiful output table and some figures. So we have 27,368 observations. The average default rate was 3.5% and the average predicted PD was about 2%. And then you see the crisis. Uh, we have underpredicted the crisis probability, obviously. You can also see this underprediction here in this figure where we have the timeline per year or per period where you see the default rate per period. Here is the blue line and the fitted um, PD as the red dashed line and we see underestimation of the PD. You also see the underestimation here in the calibration curve where we have for six buckets, risk buckets, the average default probability and the average default rate and you see for almost all buckets the default rate is higher than the default probability. You see, it's very hard to predict crisis, even with a neural network. This was our video on neural networks, our introduction. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned with deepcraterisk.com. Thanks for watching.